Okay, this is a a beginner's guide tutorial on how to solo mine Litecoin and Bitcoin fairly easily. Uh, first of all, you will need a Litecoin wallet, the main one. So it will be Litecoin.org. Download this and run it. You can install it anywhere you like. Uh, then, when you download that, download BFG Miner at bfgminer.org 32 bit or 62 bit. This is the latest version. So, download this. Now go to here, type percentage app data percentage and then return. Go to the Litecoin folder. This won't be here, this Litecoin.config. So make a text file, Litecoin.txt. and then rename it to .conf yeah .conf I recommend downloading Notepad Plus so you can right click and then edit with Notepad Plus so we have the... this is what you type exactly how you type it this is your local IP address this is a port I'm not sure if daemon is needed but doesn't do any harm. Server equals one. Um, your username and password. So save that as Litecoin.conf. It's already saved. And that's that part done. Now go to your Litecoin download folder. Now we need to launch this as a server. So when you come in this folder, hold down shift, right click, and then open command window here. If you come into this folder and click on something, it won't work. If you hold down shift now, there's no option. So just go back, and then go back in. Don't press anything. Hold down shift, right click, open command window here, and then type in Litecoin qt.exe hyphen server that launches it as a server the server part might not be necessary but it works anyway so there's no harm <coughs> if you just download Litecoin it will take a while for it to catch up with all the blocks so you need to wait for it to catch up before you can do this it's unavoidable and it can take some time. It's not so bad with Litecoin as it is with Bitcoin. It can take about a day with Bitcoin. So that's it launched as a server. Next step go to your BFG miner. I've already got one, but I'll make another folder just to show how it's done exactly. Um, okay, that's new. Yeah. Name it BFG2. Okay, put this in there. Now there's no configure file, so we need to make one. So you make a new text document. I'm going to name this bfgminer.txt. Okay, now you have an example configure file. Oops, right click. Uh, it shows you all the, so some of the commands. That won't work obviously because 
it's just an example but I have one that's working another folder here is light going so this is the same username and password that you put in the Litecoin folder in the roaming folder and this is your local IP and then the port that you've got on that roaming folder the script tells you it tells the program that is Litecoin CPU mining is important I can't get it to work and it's not supported either so if it doesn't work it's, there's nothing you can do about it really um, yeah that's that's the file there so copy this um, and then go back open the text file paste well that, that doesn't look great right. huh. well it might be ok so we find out all files change it to and you have to have um, file extensions and hidden I don't know the exact process to do that but let's do a google search I'll show you how change it to .conf close that so then we've got a .conf file so if I open this have a wee look there we go that's fine that's that set up now we just press bfgminer.exe and that's it easy as that that's it solo mining litecoin ok I'm going to quit that um, now Bitcoin, similar process, you download the main Bitcoin client, so I'm just going to close this up. Yeah, you download the main Bitcoin client, install it wherever you want, and percent up data return Bitcoin make a bitcoin.txt file I have to change my password after the video um, this is what we have in the bitcoin.configure RPC user blah, blah, blah. just copy this as it is um, and save that as a dot configure file after you've written in a text file and then we go to the bitcoin and program files bitcoin hold down shift right click open command window here bitcoin qt.exe so my server I updated the blocks not long ago for this video so it shouldn't take long. I was trying to get this to work yesterday and it, I could not get it to work and it turns out it was something I was using an old version of the minor client and as soon as I downloaded the latest version it worked instantly it's quite um, 
picky. Everything's got to be perfect. If a comma's in the wrong place, then it won't work. And that's usually what the problem is, is just a human error. So anyway, well, that's updating. Um, I'm going to go to our minor next. So that will be here. I use CG minor. I downloaded it. I used another folder, CG minor. Um, we make a CG minor dot text file. Turn in a comp file. I'll show you what the comp file looks for this. So we've got similar kind of layout. Local IP colon port password and user that you put in your roaming folder. I've got the intensity on one because I'm recording my screen now. I don't want to put it too high. Um, and this is the command to use your block eruptors. Now I just copy and paste this from the help file because there's so many ways to go wrong when you're typing that. Um, and that's basically it. Save that. Once that's in a text file, save as cgminer.conf. Close it. Um, Stop waiting for this Bitcoin to update. Shouldn't be taking this long. Ten minutes ago, I updated it. While that's loading, there's something else. Another useful tool is called TCP View. And also to get your block eruptors to work with the CG miner you need to download an, a driver. It's a different driver to the US the the regular block eruptor driver it's called. So you download Zadig. Zadig you download it's called uh, find this. Um yes. And that'll do it. Here is going slow for some reason. Um, yeah, I think that's it there. I'm just click on this. Oh, for God's sake. Um, I'm going to find the download link for it. Ridiculous. Zadig. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so it's this. So download. save that, I've already caught it so I won't and then downloads close this ok, Bitcoin is updated but I'll show you the Zadig thing first because you need it so you'll be given, once you extract it you're given this oh 
options, list all devices, and then select your USB. I've already altered them from this to a Windows USB driver. Um, if you want to change them back, you just use that exit. It takes a few seconds going back and forth. It's a pain, but it needs to be done. So once they're in the right, the right drivers are installed. Bitcoin's ready to go. It's running as a server. So now go back to our CG miner. And we launch this. So this is the USB ASICs, it takes a, a few seconds to find them, load up, and that's solo mining bitcoins. Um, don't expect much, 1 gigahertz per, or gigahertz per second, I use the calculator, the online calculator, and it said it would take me 56 years to find a block, so yeah, it's not really worth solo mining. But one useful tool is TCPU, <coughs> and it's it's on the Microsoft website, so it's a safe download. And what this does is simple. Um, so you yeah, so just click download TCP view. Once you've downloaded it, um, here it is. This this shows you. Um, Yeah, there you go. So then you can see your Bitcoin client running. Shows you the ports. Um, so this is the port we're using. And it will show you sent packets, received packets. Take a while to update. When you're solo mining, don't expect to see much activity in the sent packets and received packets. You will see some, but it will be very slow. And yeah, so that's basically it.